where is it? There it is. It looks stupid. It looks really stupid. It has belt straps in the front that look like... I don't want to insult the people that made this, but... Um... Yeah, look at it. It's... It's really fucking funny. <laughs> I mean... Apparently, the story behind this car is that these people called Desert Dingo Racing or whatever, they go to the Baja 1000 every single year, race this car, on, yeah, this exact car, and never finish. It's completely stock, apparently. It has only 90... I don't, I think it has like 93 horsepower. Not very fast. Four speed. Um, what their website said was they had, um, because I actually had to look this up because I'm just like, what the fuck is this? Um, what they said is that it was, uh, does that actually wiggle? I want that to wiggle. I want that little thingy to wiggle in the front. At the top. It doesn't. Makes me sad. But, um... This thing had... Their, what, from what their website said, it said that this thing has between 72 and 76 horsepower. Um... It's, uh... Got a cooled... Uh, four... Inline four... Air cooled... Inline four, whatever... It has a top speed of 75 miles an hour, going downhill with a tailwind. I mean, the vehicles that they use for the Baja 1000 are like 1000 or 1000 horsepower trophy trucks. This is not something you would be expecting. And it's really funny because it looks ridiculous. And we already have another bug in the game, so why do we need another one? Especially one that looks like... That. Like... It's just weird. We got a reflector up at the top, so that's good. Inside, we got an RPM gauge. And some temperature gauges over there. I don't think we have... I'm pretty sure we don't have any... Um, Pretty sure we don't have any windshield wipers. And so, yeah, we're gonna tune this. So, yeah, let's see how this goes. Dude, come on in. Whoops. How can I help? Did I do the right thing? No, I didn't. Alright, so hey, this car. Come on in and let's fix her yeah, it has 93 horsepower. 102 foot-pounds of torque, 2,165 pounds, 42% weight distribution, and, yeah, that. So, does that, we're going to upgrade this. I don't know exactly what we can do, but it's going to be funny. Holy shit, we can actually do stuff to this car. Adding a stupid little wing. Yeah, we're gonna keep the... We're gonna keep all the good bits. Apparently, we can do everything we can do to the regular Beetle on here. Which, I don't know exactly what that is. But... It still looks ridiculous. So, yeah, we're going to put these on them. Our monstrosity of a beetle. I 
I can't add a new transmission in it. Um. Yeah, apparently I'm stuck with a four speed. That's really stupid. Like, I'm not even lying. That's really dumb. Platform and handling? Can add brakes. That's good. Can't add new springs. Um. This thing's gonna look really weird. Engine swap. Ooh. Not doing that. Um. Hold on. I need to see what these engines are. So, I can put... The engines I can put are the 3.4 liter flat 6 twin turbo. Which is the same engine as a rough yellow bird. The 6.2 liter V8, which is the equivalent of a Shelby... No. Sorry. A Corvette Stingray. So, an LS... X engine. Um, 2.5 liter flat four, which boxer engine. Um, wait, is that turbo? Yeah, that is. 2.4 liter inline turbo from a Nissan Silvia, or the one from the rough, which. I'm actually gonna actually do because that's funny, and and you know, why not? <laughs> like, it already has twin turbos in it. Gotta do that. Wait, I think now that I changed the engine, I th nope. Never mind. I'm an idiot. So, yeah, it turns out I'm going to... I'm just going to put engine upgrades in this thing now. Try to camshaft. Didn't work. I'm just going to put, you know, things in it now. Pistons. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Nope. Please, dear God, let me put something in here. There we go. That it. That adds horsepower. Are you serious right now? Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay, well, it looks like we're putting better rims on this because I can only get this to top out at one eight ninety nine. <sighs> so better rims. The multi piece. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> I don't know what I can do with this. I'm assuming since it's a rough engine. Problem is I only have four. Okay. This thing's going to be pretty fucking hilarious, and I'm going to love every single minute of it, and I want it to be loved. This is going to be like the last Beetle. It's all about the acceleration, right?
I went to top out at 185, and then I'll be good with it. Because I know I'm about to lose all that. And it apparently won't even do that. Okay. So, we're about to see Camber up close and personal. Seven. Oh my god. No. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's see what I can do with this. 13.94. Five. Alright, so let's put that in to perspective for right here. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. <laughs> this is gonna be terrible. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. Those are really soft springs. I get... Oh my god. You know what? Just put it at one and be done. I'm not expecting much out of this. Maybe a 101. Maybe. And that's pushing it. Okay, so... That's, that's really pushing it. I mean, I think it's still rear-wheel drive, I just don't know how much horsepower it has. Alright, so nine. And twenty seven. Okay, so only thing next it left is the springs. Wow, that looks really stupid. Um Man, that looks hilarious. Uh, huh. How much worse part is it? 552? Yeah, not too bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. One point two two five. Thirty-eight percent? Jesus, mother fuck. Alright, and then back springs. We'll get after this. Alright, so. Jesus, that is really fucking light. Er, not light. Not stiff. done so it doesn't matter 
Oh god. Alright, so... Then we... This isn't gonna go well at all. Cause... Oh shit. That would end up being... Oh wait, that's how it's already set up. Never mind, it's gonna be fine. Minus four sixty-five five. All right. So the back ones are gonna be really, really stiff, and the front ones are gonna be soft. So I don't, I don't get that. But hey, let's go with it. I mean. I will laugh my ass off if this thing does anything well. Jesus Christ. Alright. Sounds like a Porsche. God, it's bouncy! <laughs> it's so bouncy! It's bouncy. <laughs> it's really, really bouncy. The acceleration's great. I only have four gears, so this is... Kinda it. Highly impressed. Look at it, though. <laughs> it's so stupid. Why did I do... Why? Why? Of all the cars they could've given us, they gave us this. I thought the last beetle was a munch. Oh wait, no, this was the monstrosity. Never mind. This is just stupid. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> it was only topping out at 184.9, but now it's 180. God damn it, it's gonna do great. I mean. I sense grit. Oh shit. I forgot this thing had twin turbos. It's acting like the Porsche that it is. I like the blow up valves, those are good. Um. It's very good compared to the other one. Um, well, how it does on the track, you know, that's a completely different story. Completely different. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> um, hmm. Hmm. Ah, uh, who? I think this thing is rear wheel drive. I can't remember. This thing is running in off road class, by the way. So if you need an off road car, it's free. <laughs> you gotta. I mean, you can't beat free. Unless you win it. That was really fast acceleration. I think this thing is all wheel. Um, unsure still? Like, it's really bouncy. Seems to handle terrain well. Um, that's weird. Let's not do that. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Holy shit. Little bit bouncy.
so confused. I don't know. I am perplexed. God almighty. <laughs> but it still ran a 106. That's the funny part. This thing is still going to run a pretty decent-ish time. If I could... Um... How do you fix things like this? I'm not claiming to be a good tuner. Oh, well, okay, I'm okay. But... But... I'm more of a driver than a tuner. And I don't know these things. So, like, literally... If you have any suggestions on how I could do this... How I could be better at this... You know, feel free to send them my way. I'm not good at this. I'm not... I gotta lie. I mean... I mean, I'm okay. I mean, I mean... But still, this is just really bad. Really bad. Oh, shit. Okay, let's not go down to first. Let's go into second. Keep it in second. Let's not forget to ship down, either. Oh god, here comes the shit part. Hey, I actually made that quarter that time. Oh god, bounce. It still ran a 102. Even with the bumps. Yeah, it handles bumps really well, I guess. I don't know, I'll go off-roading in this afterwards and see what happens. But... Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Um... Hanging on for dear life. Oh god. Oh god. Oh Jesus. I, and I'm not, with the newfound knowledge that this thing is not a bad car. It's not. If I could stop the bouncing, I would, but I don't know how. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. I'm I'm just making do with the best that I gave myself. And that's this. Like, I have other cars that are supreme, but these off-road vehicles, not the best. At all. Ever. Jesus. Jesus, take the wheel! Seriously, help me. Uh... Oh God, belt, belt, belt. Well, it ran a 102. So that's good. Ish. Not really. That's actually really bad. It's not a 103. Oh, God.
that and this help. There's a couple things that I think could really do better. I could that I could make this thing better with. One would be having another gear box. Two would having better knowledge of springs and how to set them. Cause literally this thing is just rolling in the bumps. Bumpy 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 bump. See what I'm saying here? It's got a lot of suspension travel. It's ridiculous. So what was it? A 102? 376? Or 367. It actually comes in on my personal leaderboard uh, that I have on my phone. Um, it actually comes in right behind the Acura Integra, which is absolutely hilarious. Let's see. So it's... Uh, okay. Well, that's done. Uh, I tuned them all. Um, tuned them all. Raced them all. Did not conquer anything, to be honest. What are these? Oh, driver payouts. Okay. Really? Okay. Um, yeah, so now is to give you my thoughts on these vehicles. Overall, it's a pretty unique pack. Unique's the word that I'm going to go with here. Because we got two different beetle off-road beetles, which are completely hilarious, by the way. Um, an Integra, which is meh. I mean, it's an Integra. There's nothing more you can do. The BMW... It's surprising. And it's okay. It, it, actually, it's more than okay. It's pretty fucking good. I really like that uh, BMW. Um, there are certain things on these cars that I want to fix. Um, one will definitely be for the Acura. I'm going to adjust the spring settings because I think I fucked that up. Badly. Um, I should do that for this one, too. But I'm not going to, because that, that's just me. Um, you know, there are certain things that I wish I could change. One would be that I could get a different gearbox for this car. Two would be less weight for the Jaguar. And, yeah, that would be it. Um, it's a pretty solid pack. I haven't downloaded it. Um... I would suggest you pick and choose which cars you want. Because, honestly, not all of them are going to be good. But, it's an alright pack. It's not my favorite pack by far, but it's, it's still pretty good. I would suggest downloading it.